So today I am going to make a mosaic, well, I'm going to attempt to make a mosaic covered photo frame. I have a wonderful box of 430 pieces of mosaic tile with all sorts of different colours in here. This came from Hobbycraft and it has a selection of 10 different colours and each of the squares are a centimetre wide which is very similar to the mosaic kit that I tried out before. Now this is only my second time of doing mosaic so let's see how it turns out. So I have several of these photo frames which I picked up in Poundland a couple of years ago and they were on sale at 50p each so I got lots and lots of them and previously I would cover them with book pages and make some literary themed photo frames but I thought this time I would try something completely different yes I did just say they were on sale in Poundland they should have been two pound a piece but I got them for 50p so I did bulk buy quite a few of them so to start with what I want to do is make sure that all the glass is out of the way so what I'm going to do initially is just sand this down with an abrasive quite a coarse sandpaper and I think I'm going to do two just to see how we go in case I mess up on one so I'll need to do the sanding outside because I don't want lots of dust inside so I'm just going to take this out and give them just a quick rub down and come back. Right, I've given these a sand down and it's taken all the glitter off and the surface is quite rough now. So I'm hopeful that we can use these. These frames are simply MDF, so that's very similar to the pot stand that I made before. So the one thing that was worrying me was whether or not I would be able to fit these tiles in a nice arrangement on the frames, whether the frames would be wide enough or whether I would need to trim any of the tiles. I'm not quite at the stage where I'm ready to do any tile cutting just yet. But yeah, so I think I can get four across each way there. There's less room for play on the bottom. These tiles are maybe a millimetre or so slightly larger than the kit that I got. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it because this is an experiment and this is a challenge and why not? Why not have a little bit of fun in the process? So the first thing is to decide on the colours. Right, so there should be 430 pieces in this box and yes, for testing purposes I am going to see you know, what quantity of each colour we've got, is there the same amount of each colour, just be interesting to know wouldn't it? Right, so that's all the tiles we've got in the box. They look a bit like Tetris tiles, don't they? There's a couple of quite chipped ones in this colour. So we need to add them up really, don't we? So, that's... so 
by my calculations, and I could be wrong, there should be 430 pieces in this box. By my calculations, I've got 497 pieces in this box. So I've got a few extra, but there are a couple of chipped ones as well. The colors are not evenly distributed. I've got far less of the purple than I have of the yellow, which is unfortunate because yellow is my least favorite color of this selection. Um, so I need to think about kind of color combinations and how many I'll need to make the frame. Let's see, I like the green. I think I'll do a yellow and green version first. Yeah, I'm going to do a yellow and green version first because I'm going to use up my least favourite colours first. I might put a few silvers in there as well. I might, I haven't decided yet. So when I made the pot holder, we transferred a grid onto the frame. I'm not going to do that this time, mostly because I'm <sighs> these tiles are slightly bigger and I can't be bothered, to be quite honest with you, to work out the calculations on 1.2 millimeter spaces. So we're just going to go for it and see how it goes. This is just regular PVA glue. Oh, <laughs> had a bit of a disaster already. Oh my goodness. move on their own as the glue sets. <laughs> mm. I'm starting to worry that I don't have enough of these colours to complete this frame and I might have to switch some out to add some new colours in. What do you think? Hmm. one row short so I'm going to have to stick in something else. I think I'll go to the yellow, orange. So let's see if we can do this without too much ado.
So I think I might have used a little bit too much PVA glue, mostly because, I don't know if you can see, but the tiles are kind of attracting to each other and moving closer together and not staying where I put them as the glue dries. This one's tilted right over. I mean, I could still reposition them, but some of them are kind of joined together, so then I'm trying to separate them so that when I put the grout on, the grout will go in between. So that might be a beginner mistake um, with mosaic. So I think for the next frame, I will try to use less of the PVA glue. I also used quite a few more tiles than I thought I would. But at least now I'll know how many tiles I'll need for the next frame that I do. And hopefully the next frame will be slightly more improved. I am just hesitant to leave this until I know that all of the squares are where I want them to be. Okay, I think I'll leave it there on this one and I'm going to set this aside to dry. So I have calculated that I needed 176 tiles to fill this frame and this frame is 16 by 18 and the gap in the middle is 7 by 9. So that's quite a lot more tiles than I thought I'd need to cover one frame, but at least I know that I can work out the correct number of tiles to cover this frame. And what I'm gonna try and do with this frame is to not use quite as much of the PVA glue. And I'm also thinking that I will switch to my high tack glue because it does dry quicker and also it holds things in place very well usually and let's see how it works with the mosaic tiles right so I want to do this one in my favorite colors I've got some decisions to make because I need 176 to cover this frame and I've currently got about 100 of the reds and just under 100 of the blues. <clears throat> I think the oranges can go in to 10 I think that's going to have to be my palette because I'm running out of pieces so let's see how we get on.
Okay, so that is done with a high-tech glue and some of them have already dried in place already along the top and there was, because I put them on quite roughly, I just needed to tidy them up a little bit. So my initial thoughts on these tiles is that the quality is quite variable. Um, some of the tiles have a very smooth edge, some of the tiles have a very blunt sharp edge which results in some of the tiles appearing slightly bigger and slightly smaller. I don't know how that will affect the end result. But, I mean the colours are lovely. I don't think you can really see. These are like clear glass with a, like a silver foil backing on them. So I'm going to set this one aside to dry as well and then next time we will add the grout. Right, well, these are both dry and all that's left now is to, well I say all that's left now, I don't know, there might be some more steps later, I might decide to cover the backs of the frames. However, the next step is to do the grouting. Now when I made the mosaic pot stand, I really didn't enjoy mixing up the grout and I didn't know what I was doing. And so I thought it would be easier to use some ready mix grout. So this grout cost two pounds and it is a 500 gram pot. I wasn't sure whether one would be enough to do both of the frames, so I did get two. So we'll see how we go. And I'm also not holding out that this is a really good quality one as it came from Poundland. So yeah, we shall see. So I'll just put down something to protect the surface because this might get a bit messy. And I'm going to do this one first. So the tub is not full, but yeah. Let's give this a go. So incredibly, I managed to do this grouting without turning the camera on. I got too carried away. <laughs> Crikey, here we go. Um, so, I haven't used very much of this tub. And if you want to know how to grout, or want to um, know the process, then you will unfortunately uh, have to go and look at the pot stand video that I did. Um, I haven't used very much of this tub at all and uh, yeah so now I just need to move on to the next stage. I was using a glue spreader and some cardboard. I found it easier to get it out of the tub with the glue spreader. Okay so it's time now to just take this surface grout off and hopefully it will all come off with a damp cloth shall see and I apologize if everything starts to wobble a little bit I think actually a damp sponge would be better I think I've left some of this grout on a bit too thick that's better So that's this one finished. It's a bit grotty around the edges and on the back, which is unfortunate, but I will take these off. I'll clean this up and I think I'm going to use some deco patch papers along the back just to neaten it up. But I'm quite pleased with that one. So I'll just finish up this one and then we'll move on to sorting out the backs.
So again, this one has got a bit mucky around the back and the edges. So I am definitely going to uh, finish these up nicely with a little bit of some decorative papers on the other side. But this crackle one might be quite nice. I think I'll try the crackle one first and see if we've got enough. Super. So I'm going to just let this Mod Podge dry and then hopefully that will be these photo frames finished. Fingers crossed. Well, we are finished. I have put the backs back in now. The papers are now completely dry. And yeah, I'm very pleased with these. I think they've come up really well. Some of the tiles are not quite straight, but I think that just adds to the charm. So I think these Hobbycraft mosaic tiles are not quite as good quality as the ones that were in the Peakdale products set, mostly because the professional ones had ridges along the back, which I think probably gives um, a better hold onto the surface. However, you know, they're not badly priced. It was about £12 for 430 pieces and those 430 pieces covered two frames. And there's a few spare, which is not enough for another project, but you know, they can go in the box for another time and another project. I really enjoyed doing these and I do plan on doing some more. I will be up in my game on the next ones that I make because I'm going to be using some tile nippers and I'm going to try and create a more decorative pattern than just the squares. And that won't be for several months because I've got lots of other projects planned and there are just not enough hours in the day, especially when I'm only managing to do one hour a day. So yeah. So I am very pleased with these. I think that they're very pretty and they're functional and I'm glad I covered the backs because it just gives a neater finish. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you dropped by and I hope to see you again in a future crafty or arty update. Thanks for watching.